What are you willing to compromise for peace? Everything. My pants. Your pants? Yeah, they want my pants, take my pants. Can you be a little more specific? I don't know, what do you want? What, what is the compromise? What, what's the, like... Let's Would talk. you give uh, the uh, the 67 borders, West Bank and Gaza? I think I, li I like the, the Clinton-Obama kind of structure, you know, with negotiations. If we're, if we're discussing true, actual peace, no more resentment, no terror, nothing, you know, why not? Okay. What about uh, Jerusalem? Like the Arabic neighborhoods, they have, the, they have them already. So uh, Israel doesn't go there anyway. And I think like an international forces, you know, where in the sacred areas, or whatever. I don't know. I'm secular. I don't care. What about the right of return? Palestinians coming back to Jaffa. To Palestine. They go back to Palestine. And also the the, the the original refugees, not the son and the grandson and the great great grandson. That's why? Why? Demographic reason, I think, because you, if if we're going for a, like a two-state nation, right? Israel, like Jewish state and Palestinian state, then, you know, that should be, I think the Jews should be in the Jewish side, and the Palestinians in Palestine, the Palestinian side. I don't think like in a second, like just when somebody uh, like um, signs an agreement that a, an hostility that's been built for years and years and years can go away and suddenly we all live together like, you know, like the Smurfs in one big happy village. It's going to take a lot of time. So uh, I think at the beginning, separation is needed. That's what I think. I don't think it's. It, I don't think it could be otherwise. And I think they're holding them there in the refugee camps, and not giving them like you know uh, nationalities and trying to help them to maintain like that uh, consciousness of returning to the village and the people with the with the key on their neck. I think that's. That's a way to, to maintain the conflict and not to solve it. And of course, I don't know, like maybe a, a symbolic number of people can come back. Maybe they can get like, you know, a financial a compensation. Stuff happens, you know, stuff like that happens all over the world. It happens, it's a tragedy. But I don't think that's a true solution. That number of people coming back to Israel and now becoming an Israeli citizen, sing the anthem, I don't know, stand, live together. It's going to take a while to, to make that peace happen. Maybe in a few years there will be no more boundaries and no more, and no, no whatever. Borders. Borders and everybody will, uh, you know, one big happy family. Because we are one big happy family originally. But I don't think that can happen overnight.